Well, this is the previous uh, recordings of Jai Zhigang uh, donning his uh, EVA spacesuit. And this is the recording of Jai Zhigang about to open the hatch into the outer space. I believe this is the recording of 14 o'clock uh, when Jai Zhigang was checking every part of his EVA spacesuit. And this is the moment that he is about to open the hatch and turn a handle. And the ground control is having a good a mark on Jai Zhigang's performance, how he did the EVA. We just saw something flying yes. out of the hatch. Like what is paper. that stuff? Paper. It's a piece of paper? paper. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe it's the uh, head check. <laughs> I hope it's not their check. Yeah, I hope it's <laughs> not uh, something that they cherish, uh, like the, uh, the letters from their families or, uh, or the photos of, of his daughter or something. Otherwise, it becomes uh, a debris. It wouldn't stay in orbit very long at that It wouldn't. It just fall to the ground somewhere. In fact, it might even survive re-entry. A very thin piece of paper actually has a chance to survive really? re-entry into the atmosphere. Yes. You mean a light object can survive the re-entry and not burn? Yes. But this is a, a typically recording of the whole process of the EVA. We now see it's just a recording the EVA, the process. Now he, he get his hand on the handlebar installed on the outside of the spaceship. So what is the use of the hook that he's uh, using to attach himself, attach the tether to the body of the spaceship? What is the use of the hook? I would have to guess, but he, he, I, it appears that he's attaching in two places. Yeah. And if you're attached in two places, then you can position yourself by pulling on one or the other of the ropes. And also, it ensures your safety, right? Yeah. Right. It's a, yeah. a double insurance policy. A double insurance. Because the Chinese ground control has always been uh, asserting the importance of reliability and safety. Yes. There used to be a, a sort of a mythology that the Russians took terrible risks in space. And as a matter of fact, they were extremely careful, uh, with the sole this exception of the, the Voskhod missions. This is just the historic pictures. A Jai Zhigang climbing, actually crawling along the body of the spacecraft. And now he's just uh, letting himself float. Because actually, spacewalk is not a exact uh, word. It should be space float. Yes, that's, that would be better. Because we don't have any solid ground to walk on. And now he unfurled the, actually then, several minutes ago, he unfurled the Chinese national flag. This is a very symbolic moment, of course. It is actually made of uh, embroidered by those uh, Chinese uh, craftsmen here back on the ground. It, of course, uh, boosted the morale of the whole people, a whole bunch of people working behind this project. And this should be a very patriotic moment for the Chinese nation. This is uh, more recorded than we, we, than we just see because uh, in first see that may be lost the So some of the scenes that we actually haven't seen during right. the uh, a live broadcast right. is uh, captured by the other cameras. And this is the shot of cosmonaut, uh, taikonaut Jinghai Peng, who stayed in the uh, re-entry module. 
He is the man left behind, but he is a very important guy. During the Apollo missions, the man who stayed aboard the command module in orbit around the moon was at, at some times uh, 6,000 kilometers away from the nearest human being. Mm -hmm. That's very far. <laughs> very lonely. Did, did he feel secure enough? Uh, he was lonely. He it was. was. Mike Collins. On the, so all uh, the, the actually, all the Taikonauts, astronauts, and cosmonauts should have a sense of loneliness in the space mm. because they're so far away from the home, in their home away from the home. 